to our channel. If you've just stumbled across us, we are Cottages and Castles and we bring you live tours around our self-catering holiday homes all over Scotland. I'm so excited to be here at Tangle Powery today. I've always wanted to come and see it. It's been on our books for about two years, maybe less, but it's already one of our most popular holiday homes. So I know that you're gonna love it. I really hope you enjoy the tour. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel and if you press the little bell icon next to the subscribe button, you'll be able to get notifications straight to you. So let's go and have a look and let me know what you think. So when you first get to the property, this is the view that you'll see and you're able to park in the little car park there and that is the door we are gonna go into. So let's go and have a look. So as you come into the holiday home, you're greeted with an immediate sense of style. Look at that floor, how cool is that? A little chair that you can put your coat on. You're gonna be wowed by the beauty of this cottage. So if we come through here, we come to this marvellous open plan sitting room and kitchen, which I absolutely love. It's a really nice, bright, airy space where you can all sit together and enjoy each other's company. I don't know about you, but I love an open plan layout in a holiday home because the reason that you're on holiday with your friends or your family is to be together. So it's really nice that your friends can just chill out in there and if you're the cook of the party, which a lot of people like to be, you can be cooking away and chatting to your friends at the same time. So it's just a really, really nice space. So during my holiday home tours, I like to do a bit of a comfort test and I usually pick a bed. So today I'm gonna to pick the sofas. As you can see, we have a couple of options behind us. So which one shall I try? That one or that one? <sighs> oh, such a nice place to sit and I can enjoy the view, which is right there. The sofas are so comfortable that that kind of sofa that you just sink into, like completely sink into, you won't want to get out of here. Yeah, again, another one that you can sink into and this one is like perfect line in front of the TV. All I need now is some friends. So here we have a flat screen television for your nighttime entertainment. I'm loving all the decoration around the cottage. The owners have kind of kept it true to its history and kept lots of um, souvenirs to do with ships and life at sea. Binoculars, you've got a ship in a bottle there. And you'll notice all the little kind of um, ornaments of seabirds, which I adore. When I came in, there was this really nice book here sitting on the unit, and it just tells you a little bit about the history of the house um, and the renovations that it went through to get it to this stage right now. The house has an incredible story. It was originally used in the Victorian era as a watchtower. And then in the World War, it was used as a observation tower and then a coast guards station. Sorry, I had to look at my notes there. I didn't want to get them mixed up. But the owners purchased the house, um, which they had, had actually had their eye on for ages um, back in 2014. And they spent two years doing up the house to get it to this amazing standard that it is now and to rent it as a holiday let. So yeah, make sure you take a look at that book because it's always nice to know the history of the place that you're staying. The owners have also left a welcome package here. Home baking. I would be chuffed if I came to a holiday home and never had the home baking. The perfect special touch. I love that. So guys, let's take a little peek around the kitchen. So obviously you've got your microwave utensils. In this cupboard we have some tea and coffee which is really handy so if you've travelled far there is a selection of teas and coffees in there. Um, a cupboard with all of your mugs, glasses and teacups. Chopping board, you've got really nice surfaces to work on. <gasps> Ta-da! There is a dishwasher. Nobody has to do the dishes. And as you can see behind me, there is a, an electric hob oven there. Um, and over here we have the toaster and the kettle. So you can make yourself a nice cup of tea. You can relax over in the living area and you can have the view out of the window there. Then on this side of the kitchen, we have the drawers that have all of your utensils in them. And here we have your fridge. I love this biplane. It's so sweet. Just hanging in the kitchen window. 
And one of my favourite things about the kitchen is the fact that these doors open out onto the patio and you can let the fresh air in. So on a day like today where it's nice and warm and you just want to get outside and enjoy that fresh air, it is the perfect um, factor to any room to have double doors like that. So let's not wait, let's continue. So to the left of the kitchen, there is the first double bedroom, which is on the ground floor. And this has the same wonderful doors as the kitchen does. So you can literally sit in that bed, wake up in the morning, open the curtains and be greeted with this view. The furniture used throughout the house is all really lovely. You can tell it's just really, really good quality, lovely, heavy wood. As I said before, the owner has really kind of thought about the decoration and interior design. So we've got features like these old lamps here on the side tables and just little elements that make it really lovely. And I'm going to continue through and take you um, into the next room, which I believe is the bathroom. So if we continue on out here and then turn left and you come to the bathroom. So this is a really lovely room and you'll notice that these um, tiles matches the porch tiles as you come in. So here we have porcelain sink and we have a beautiful porcelain roll top bath. I love roll top baths and by the way, look how shiny that tap is. I'm like a magpie, I love a bit of shine. And we also have a loo and a standing shower. And that looks like a pretty good shower, if I don't say so myself. Right, I am going to take you upstairs now. So as we go up the stairs, you'll notice down next to the skirting board that there are names. Now these names are really relevant because they are names of people that have worked in or on this building over hundreds of years. Now here we are on the first floor and we have one room and it is the second double bedroom. So again, a really nice bedroom, not too big, but not too small either. We've got three lovely windows, really nice furnishings, and this double bed again looks gloriously comfortable. And I like how each bed has been placed um, with the <laughs> viewpoint straight out to the sea. So in both bedrooms, you can wake up and you can see the sea, which is really, really lovely. And again, it's got little um, ship-related <laughs> interior decoration, which makes it stand out. I love all the kind of brass lamps that you'll be able to see around the room. Wouldn't mind waking up in this bed with that view, I have to say. Let me show you it. Imagine being able to wake up and see a seal or a dolphin jump. That would be pretty special. So we're going to move on upstairs and see what's up there. You're going to love it. Let's go. We go upstairs again. Even the stairway is so bright because they've let the light come in from the tall windows below. We've got some more names there, Sydney Peed. Ooh, what's up here? So this is the Watchtower sitting room. It is another sitting room at the top of the house. Just look at that and take it in for a second. The room has three lovely comfortable sofas, Scottish tartan fabrics, it's got three windows including this massive four panelled window here and then we have another chair in the corner there. The whole room is beautiful, everything from the metal lampshades, the lovely big light bulbs, the hanging fixtures, the wall art and the sofas. Everything is just so well thought out. Like I can just imagine snuggling over there in that lovely pink patterned blanket, watching the sunset or reading a nice book with my feet up on that couch. And also just spending some time looking out the window, seeing what I can see. So yeah, I think the owners have hit it spot on with this room and I think it'll be a very, it'll be one of the favorites, let's put it that way, of the house. I think I just spotted a seal. Woohoo! This is the perfect room. You cannot beat this room. It's wonderful. So let me know what you think of it. 
So guys, that's my inside tour of the house done. So I'm gonna quickly take you out to where I started, which was in the garden, and show you quickly around that, and then wrap up Tangle Tower for the day. So I'm not sure if I showed you before, but there is a garden here, so you can sit in the sun. We're getting into the spring weather now, finally, so there we go, and then it reaches all the way around. There's the um, first double bedroom, if you remember. Reaches round, and then you've got a lovely patch of lawn here as well. Now the garden is enclosed, and that's only sensible because if you've got young children with you, or even teenagers, you want to know that they're not gonna wander too far to the water. So it is enclosed, which a lot of our um, holiday makers like, because they just like that little bit of extra, extra security and knowing that everybody's going to be safe. So that is my tour of Tangle Tower done. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've loved looking around it. I've always wanted to come to this property ever since it came on our books. So I was really excited to get the chance to do so. As I mentioned before, the property sleeps six people and the sofa bed up in the watchtower, which is up there, that is a sofa bed that holds the extra two. So you've got the two double bedrooms and the sofa bed up there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the links to the property underneath the video so you'll get the website link and also we've done a couple of blogs on this place so I'll put the link to that too so you can read about the history because the owner herself wrote that blog for us. You can find full rents and all the other details on the website so make sure that you pop over but you can also comment below and ask me any questions about the house here. I'm so happy to help. As you can see I'm pretty friendly too so always welcome to ask me questions. But for now, goodbye. I am going to go and have a little snack on the beach before I drive home. Bye!